Yo, welcome to chemistry um, crash course, SPM chapter 8, which I thought chapter 8 would be a little bit harder, so let's go for chapter 8 first. So, this is basically, I will just elaborate on the key points that you need to remember, and it's not going to be very detailed to make you understand every single thing, it's just a key point you need to remember to kind of like go through your SPM test. So it's a shallow learning in terms of preparing for your SPM exam. So basically, Let's start off with the solubility. Now in solubility, you want to remember which salt is soluble and which salt are insoluble. So in this case, it's going to be ni all nitrate salts are very friendly and then they are like perfect. So they are soluble in everything. While carbonate, my friends come were saying that goes like carbonate is a bitch because C and B, they are close together. Just remember carbonate is a bitch. And thus carbonate is very bad. It's like insoluble with every single thing except for only three things that it finds itself to can be like mixed and be soluble with. There will be sodium, uh, calcium, sodium, potassium, and the ammonium. So basically only these three ions, when you combine with carbonate, like sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, and uh, ammonium carbonate, these three are okay to be soluble. Others, when you combine like iron carbonate, will confirm insoluble. So nitrate, every single thing nitrate, soluble. Okay. Moving on to be the chloride and the sulfate. And by the way, SPM, you just need to remember this for and you can answer like all of the questions. So in chloride, you need to remember that CSL channel. So basically CSL. Basically, it means that chloride and sulfate are normal people. Nitrate is extraordinary friendly that can be soluble with anyone. Chloride and sulfate is a normal people where they are like have a few friends that they are insoluble with other than that or the other people they are fine with. So chloride is CSL which means silver and lead. Okay, silver and lead. Please do not mix it up like as with sulfur and stuff like that because it is we are talking about uh, sulfur is supposed to be sulfate. We are talking about the first character, the, the, the first time when you describe like silver, nitrate, you say the silver. We are describing when we are talking about the, uh, these are like, these are like the second words that are used and these are like the first word they are used in front in a chemical term. So chloride is going to be silver chloride insoluble, lead to chloride insoluble. Sulfate is going to be the SLCB. I do not know how you want to remember it. LCB basically means yeah, lead to sulfate insoluble, calcium sulfate insoluble, and barium sulfate insoluble. Now please do not mix up the C here, calcium with other stem like carbon or yeah, well, chloride it's basically only calcium and barium and lead okay let's talk about the next thing which is just some simple stuff crystal and powder so for crystal it's basically things that are very shiny very coarse geometrical shape just go to the supermarket and check out crystal sugar and then check out powder sugar and you know the difference powder is like that will find smooth and round edges now preparation actually you don't need to remember that detail about it but elaborate a little bit um, this tree have, is basically the tree is totally soluble in everything kind of a thing you can see soluble with K and, and H3 so basically it means that this tree is going to be soluble with all the things because they are not in this category so they are only in this category soluble in all the things so it's basically for to prepare this tree kind of salt this tree kind of salt is totally soluble just combine acid and alkaline and you get the salt and water so you just need to evaporate the water off and you get your salt. Now for others, let's say that you combine, decided to combine acid with other substance. If you combine acid with metal oxide, you'll get salt and water as well. But if you combine acid and metal, you'll get salt and hydrogen. So the next thing is going to be acid plus metal carbonate. There'll be salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. Okay. These are the products that you need to remember, like metal oxide, water, metal, hydrogen, metal carbonate, uh, water, and carbon dioxide. So the experiments that we need to kind of like remember a little bit is just a preparation of it. I suggest you to read it out, and afterwards it's not so hard to figure it out. It's basically regarding like, let's say you want to prepare a salt, so you combine two of the particular substance together. Let's say you have a, you want to create something like a silver chloride, then you take something with silver. So Silver nitrate, then combine with another one, chloride, something else, okay? So when you combine them, uh, you kind of like after you combine them, you heat them until they are saturated solution, then you let them cool and evaporate some of the water, then you filter them, and then you actually do the same repeated steps again, where you heat it up again, and then you filter it again. 
basically we say recrystallization this process is meant to remove impurities but I don't think I've seen this coming out in the exam so don't, don't pay too much focus on it it's fine it's just for removing impurities just remember it don't need to force yourself to memorize it it's fine then next up is going to be the others the others are like when you create an insoluble salt so when you after you mix two water together there's going to be solid at the bottom so you don't need to like worry so much about like you don't need to like evaporate all the water off you just kind of filter it and all this insoluble salt will just stay as a filtrate and also because they are insoluble you can just wash them off with some water to clean them okay so let's talk about insoluble salt in the next chapter next part